Hello everyone and welcome to Real Advice and today we're reviewing Ang Generasyong Sumuku Sa Love or The Generation That Gave Up On Love for its English title. The film is now available on Netflix and it stars Tony Labusca, Jerome Ponce, Albi Casino, Jane Oneza, and Myrtle Sarosa. So in the film, we get to meet five close friends who just graduated college and are about to be adults. To celebrate this achievement, they spend it on an outing out in the woods, bonding together. Before ending their trip, they promise to go back annually to the same place on the same date and at the same time to give them one day a year to rest and to never forget their friendship wherever destiny takes them. Exactly a year after, the group fulfills this promise but now with extra problems and baggages as adults. Can they still help each other now that their priorities have changed so much from the previous year? Now before we start with our review on Ang Generasyong Sumuko Sa Love, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also give a like, share this video, or leave a comment. We barely think about a film's title, typically, but after watching Ang Generasyong Sumuko Sa Love, we suddenly felt how crucial a film's title is. This is probably the very first time wherein we felt that a title duped us or at least left us very confused against its content. Unfortunately, that is actually the lesser issue we had with the film. And that title conundrum was just the tip of the iceberg when it came to its glaring narrative problems which the film never really resolves. So as its title may imply, you could go in into thinking this movie was your typical romance film. But actually, it was not at all and very far from that. We didn't have much issue with the title Disconnect. It proved to be quite confusing at first, but if the film was actually a competent experience, a title wouldn't really matter that much. But Ang Generasyong Sumuko Sa Love had much bigger problems as a film. Central to this was its narrative or writing. The film is an anthology presenting the problems encountered by each one of our main characters for the past year. Some encountered issues about labels in relationships, some about commitment, and some about career and money. The premise had potential, but the way the film was written, the issues came out as paper thin and lacked any substance. Worse, the film barely scratched the surfaces of these basic issues presenting audiences with a problem or problems and leaving a character's story arc with little or no conclusion. For example, whatever happened to Ma'an's problem as an insecure influencer? Or what about Denzel's commitment issue with relationships? Most of the problems were set aside just to satisfy one character's development by the time we reached the final and concluding scene. And there's this feeling that the film wanted the audience to think about each character's destiny like getting an open-ended conclusion on each character's episode. Overall, while there was potential, the film was just a mess. Our rating for Ang Generasyong Tumuku Sa Love is one reel out of five. 